Redshirt freshman from Kerrville, Tiley, did not win the starting job until fall practice. I think, though, this is the guy they wanted to win the starting job. He just had to learn to take care of the football. He's been doing a great job the last two weeks on the road. Ryan Swope is in the slot, number 25. Manziel, quarterback draw. Four wides, one set back. Manziel takes off again. Uh oh stiff arm. Out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Amazing stat for college football. Texas A&M came into the game with 251 first downs. One-third of them have been in the running game by Manziel. Bobbles the snap and gets it to Swope. Manziel fakes the option, pulls up, drills it deep, man open, diving catch. That's Kendrick McNeil. What a great throw and catch. They faked the option, and they threw to the matchup they wanted. Robert Lester. Snap from Patrick Lewis. Four-man Alabama rush. Got him. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, my gracious. Yep. How about that? Can't teach that, can you? And you can't defend that. When you have an opportunity to sack the quarterback, that's a touchdown every time. That's Kirby Smart, the defensive coordinator. I think he thought what I thought. They had Oh, yeah. Well, Vern, when you have an opportunity to stop a playmaker like Manziel, you got to get him. And this time, Alabama, oh, oh, look at almost a fumble of the ball. That's what kind of threw everybody off on the play. He almost loses it, re-catches it, and keeps his wits about him. And that's why people have been asking me who he most reminds me of. He reminds me of a Ty Detmer back in his day when he used to make those scramble plays. Touchdown drive, 7-0, turnover, touchdown drive, and the pass from number two to number 25, Magic from Manziel. It really was. Uh, you got a guy that the play is never dead with. Around and not make him pay for having the ball in his hands the whole time. 53 yards passing, 35 rushing. And Alabama, if they're going to stop him, Vern, is going to stop him without their best corner on the field. Dean Milner's in the locker room. First down, 10. Manziel to slope again. That's a combination that has worked all season long. C.J. Mosley made the stop. The offense they think is audible. Blitz. Manziel, watch out. Boy, when he gets out of the pocket, no holds barred. Did it again, didn't he? Another third down conversion. That's three for three. Also, the touchdown was on third down, and look at him hurrying up here. Here's the gimmick formation with the tackles out at wide receiver. Tackle here, tackle out there. And Jake Matthews, number 75, and here's a quick one. Out to the left side, Thomas Johnson. Stunts defensively by Alabama. Never say never, here's Manziel. He'll run, gets a block from Lewis. Rushing, and he'll go over 1,000 rushing and 2,000 passing. There's the pass. Beautiful. Empty backfield again, five wide. Three-man rush now for the Crimson Tide. Manziel drills it. He's been near perfect. That's Mike Evans, the redshirt freshman. The only pass that Manziel has had incomplete today was an overthrow on a deep route. And it's first down 10. Let's try the left side. but they switched it up. Yep. Here's Manziel from the backside. Didn't get him the first time. Didn't get him the second time. My, and boy, my, do you my. pay for it. Great balance. What an athlete.
gets his hand down, doesn't go down. Dixon had a chance, couldn't get him. It's Kirby Smart has found a formula to pressure him. Here comes the blitz again. C.J. Mosley coming. The catch is made by Mike Evans. That's his third catch for the red shirt freshman. Rush. Manziel comes near side. Tip. Caught by Evans. Short of the oh, well, Let's see what the spot is. That's John. Straight four-man rush now for Alabama. Manziel. He's being chased by Square. He gets by Square. I think he came up short again, though. Oh, no, I no, don't know. no, no. Yeah, I think he got no. that one. Yeah. One of the things that Kirby Smart felt about AM was the four man rush. He actually has the ball in the left hand. They might want to look at that. Number seven. Third and nine. Four man Alabama rush. Manziel with a lot of time. Deep down the middle, and it's caught by Ryan Swope. Oh, did he thread that one. Well, I tell you, you got to give Swope so much credit here because he knew. On in college football as soon as this one is in the book. Play action, Manziel. He's going to go deep right again, and he's got oh Swope. Oh, gosh, what a pass. Oh, wow. A wheel route, and he put it like a baton in a track race. Put it right in front of him. Swope never broke stride. Stunts defensively. Manziel comes left side. Ball wobbles. It's caught. Touchdown. Malcolm Kennedy. And goal. McCarron will throw it. It's intercepted. Shazer Everett at the goal line. Alabama was really running their two-point play. This is the one they saved. They were trying to pick, but Everett did not get picked on the play. Sneaking out this guy and trying to get him to the flat. Everett says no way. Gets outside, slides outside. You could see Cooper tried to pick him, but he couldn't get to him. And three turnovers in the football game for Alabama. Manziel wasn't even watching. No, he couldn't look. <laughs> well, A.J. McCarron went 292 passes without an interception. He has been picked off twice in this ball game. And T.J. Yeldon fumbled once. This is Molina. This is the guy that tried to do too much and ended the football game. Johnny Manziel, 24 of 31, 253 yards, two touchdowns. He also ran for 92. And let me say it in all due respect to Johnny Manziel. Johnny Football played a great game. And did Johnny Football put himself in position to be a Heisman Trophy winner? The dream of defending probably has died for Alabama. The Aggies are still unbeaten on the road in their crushing. Well, Vern, I do have to say, Notre Dame's got a couple of got tough game you'll have, you'll have to, with USC and Kansas State doesn't have any walkovers. Could they climb back in again? Because they're the one team with one loss that would be in the game. Let's go down to Tracy Wolfson, who's with Kevin Sumlin. Before the game, Coach, you told me this team is confident and we're comfortable coming in here and playing our best. How did you knock off Alabama tonight? Well, they just kept playing. You know, our guys, we've gotten a little bit better every week. Uh, and they're believing, you know, this senior group that, that, you know, they really bought into what the new coaching staff, it's hardest on those guys. And they're doing a great job of leading. I'm just, I'm happy for them. You know, they came to Texas A&M and, and who would have thought we'd be playing 
Alabama in the, in their senior year, the number one team in the country, and the way they played today, they led us, and I, I couldn't be happier for this team. Uh, we have to ask you about Johnny Manziel. He continues to amaze you, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he, he, no moment's too big for him. Uh, it, it gives us, it gives our, our players a sense that, you know, we can score from anywhere, and, and we can get, win the games, and I think that's a uh, contagious feeling. I, like I said, these guys played their hearts out. What a football game, and, and uh, you know, uh, it's just the last couple of weeks we've been getting better and all came together tonight. Well, congratulations and welcome to the SEC. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Burn. First time the Aggies have ever played in Tuscaloosa. Bear Bryant coached at both schools. So did Gene Stallings. And I'm thinking right now the 27 men who made the trip, all of whom played for Bear Bryant at Texas A&M. And they were honored before this game began. What this trip must mean to them. And as good as Johnny Manziel play, remember that defense, three turnovers that they forced in this football game and a goal line stand. And a look at the player of the game presented by Russell Athletic. It's the policy of Texas A&M's football program to not allow freshmen to meet with the media. So Tracy will not have a chance to talk with Johnny Manziel on camera. My guy. Can't...